Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Hell Breachers a platforming game developed by Omega Core and Rattalika Games and published by East Asia Soft now it is available for a nice nice tiny price of just £4.19 so this is a fun game but is it is as standard as a platformer as we usually would get so we can play up to three characters each with their own special abilities and basically get through the game with barely any deaths or any trouble in just around 20 minutes. So achievements wise, all we basically need to do is complete the first 12 levels, then we need to find and open 12 chests with keys, we find, defeat up to 30 enemies, kill three easy ass bosses and have 5,000 coins in our inventory. It is an extremely easy run through, so with that being said, then let us begin. So then, there are three characters we can pick, the Knight, Magician and Assassin. At the top there, you would have had two difficulty levels, just make sure it said a little, whatever the hell it was, basically easy mode. Click on next, uh, apologies, I don't know what the hell was happening with the screen there, but like I said, I just go with the Knight anyway because he is badass and he was happy as hell. So, press B to jump and then press B twice to jump, uh, any higher. Uh, press down on the left thumbstick, that'll make you go down, 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 down. And obviously every coin that you see, we are going to be grabbing. So you press the A button to melee, uh, ranged attack with the X button, and then basically a supercharged powerhouse of a move uh, with the Y button. So these are the fairly obvious chests that we need to find, so jump your way up sort of to the left hand side and up, grabbing every coin that we see as we go on our way, head up the ladder here, grab the key, and that is as easy as it gets. Now we only need to collect 12 of them of course, and like I said, with the ranged attack and the special ability attack with the white button, we'll just be waiting until the bosses. Um, they're very, very easy enough anyway, so here is the first boss, so what we're going to do, just as he comes towards you, jump over him until he stops. And then just hit the Y button twice. See if you can hit him, that would always help if you can hit him the, the next time. Um, but every time he stops, just keep smashing the A button. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people have just basically gone through all the game, not even using the special attacks or the ranged weapons. So you can literally just press the A button on the boss, do a bit of dodging so you don't die obviously. Uh, but it is as easy as that, and it's basically the same with the other two bosses there. So we should get um, the achievement for beating the first boss and for completing the first level. Well, actually, no, that was a tutorial, so this will be the first level. So, yeah, like I said, for now, every sort of diamond and coin that you see, make sure to collect it. Every enemy that you see, make sure to kill them. And every chest that you see, uh, there is usually a key that is quite nearby. So it's, it generally is as pretty straightforward and as easy as that. Now, I won't be talking through the whole video because there's literally only one way to go. Usually only one path to the right and then either up or down. Uh, so, yeah, it is one of those bog standard platformers. But I enjoyed it anyway. Always fun. So as you can see then, there is the first key. And the chest then is directly below it. So it's going to be like that um, in terms of collecting the chests and collecting the keys. There'll either be, there's not going to be, you know, too many things to explore or anything like that. It's usually just a ladder up, have a look, see what's up there and then go down. So, yeah, it's pretty goddamn easy. Another thing to let you know though, spikes and water... Anything with the environment will kill you in one hit, and you will have to start the level again. Um, you know, enemies can enemies can touch you up as much as they want, but it'll take a few touches for you to die. But if you go for a little swim, just like in most other games for some reason, you are dead, and you have to start again, which is annoying. So just, of course, be careful for spikes and water.
So what you can do here is actually, if you want to, you can just go ahead and finish the level. Um, but what I do for some reason is just go back to the left and where we came, just to collect three more uh, bits of treasure. So apologies about this bit, but so if you wanted to just finish the level uh, to the right, you obviously can. Uh, but I grabbed them because, God damn it, I like treasure. So here we are then, on to the second boss. Like I said, I haven't done any commentary so far because it is fairly obvious and um, easy to follow along with. But here is the second boss. Jump over the fire so you don't die. And basically he's a giant mushroom head. Now what he's going to do is send out his little mushroom babies to do his dirty work for him. But once they are dead again, s spam the Y button twice. That gets rid of most of his health and then just keep spamming the A button until Xenofungus dies. So, hey, no more mushrooms for us. We're going to have to find another way to um, enjoy life, as it were. <laughs> so, we've got another few levels left to do. Now, this is where you should be, or should have already, the majority of the achievements, if you've been following along. Um, in terms of, we still do need just uh, about 1,700 coins left, but again, there are plenty. Um, if you still need a couple of chests, you know, we'll, we'll be getting that. I'll be getting that in, I think, the third level of this area anyway. And, of course, just remember to keep hitting all the enemies. Obviously, it's worth just uh, keeping, having a check on your achievement tracker as well, seeing which achievements you got left. Uh, but, like I said, do not worry. Do not worry yourselves too much if you haven't got it yet. We will uh, be getting it extremely soon. So, don't die. Don't die. Do it.
So there we have that then. So now we have opened 12 treasure chests. Again, if you haven't at this point, do not worry yourself too much because again, there are quite a few that we are going to be uh, grabbing on the way anyway. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be defeating 30 enemies in this level as well. And as you can see, we're only we're less than a thousand coins away now to be getting that achievement. Oh, in fact, there it is. So yeah. So again, if you've been following along, you would have either got this a little bit earlier, roughly about now. But again, there are plenty of enemies to kick ass with and stick a sword up their butt. So do not worry again too much if you haven't got it the same time I did. So there we have it then, I've got 5,000 coins, I've defeated 30 enemies, opened up 12 treasure chests. So now, what we're going to do, I'm still going to be showing you that basically there are still a lot of enemies and a lot of coins on the way. But from now, if, we, if you've hit the same point, we can literally just blast it now all the way to the very end. Get your super speed on the go, get your, <laughs> well, get your speed on the go, <laughs> depends how much. And then just blast it to the end so we can get rid of this third Big old boss boy, and finish this schnee.
And if you're wondering why I am still collecting coins and everything, it's because I am a greedy a-hole. And I like money, Mr. Crab style. Money! Anyway, we are coming up to the end of the level, and the next level is going to be the boss. Now, be aware, the first time you um, start fighting this boss, he's basically going to send out four minions that throw rocks at you. So just be aware, you probably will die the first time, because these little shite heads, they hit a little bit harder. So... But if that's the case, I always die to him the first time. The second time, though, he just shoots a few bits of blue worth a pre come at him. So, uh, at you. So, what you're going to do is just do the same as you always done. Hit the white button twice and then just keep spamming the A button until he dies. So, he does hit harder. So, just be aware of that. But if you've just done that, it'll be absolutely easy. So, there we go, then, guys. That. That was it then, yeah, so literally 20 minutes, easy 1000 on 1000, and another new shiny platinum for you. So, thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, like I said, hope this video has helped. If it has, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, especially uh, TimG84 and ChangeBange. Again, apologies for the butchers, mate. You are going to have to let me know <laughs> how to pronounce that one. Um, but... Obviously, always uh, check me out on my socials as well. Like I said, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. But that is that for me. So, big love, baby. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.